friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm styling my dining table for winter. Uh, just adding a few things to the table, keeping it really simple uh, for a simple centerpiece. Um, the very first thing I'm going to be uh, using is this French cheese board that I uh, picked up at the French Farmer's Wife farm sale back in back before Christmas, and I've used it all during the holidays, even did a cachoeira port on it uh, for Christmas. So we're gonna put that right here underneath the light fixture, right in the center of the table, and then I'm gonna be using a thrifted linen table runner. This is a really delicate piece that I picked up at a thrift store, and I, you can tell it's been well used, but not stained, which was lucky. And we're just gonna drape that across here just to give a little anchor to the centerpiece. To soften it up a little bit and warm it up a little bit for the winter months. Um, I have this gorgeous vintage bowl and I have it filled with these porcelain apples that look very authentic. So I'm gonna put that right here in the, kind of at the back of the center of the table. Um, I also have a little creamer here. This is a iron stone creamer that I have uh, placed several vintage um, silver spoons in and tied a little uh, jute string around them. And we're just gonna place that right here on the table. I am always looking for copper pieces and I found this little set of vintage bowls back in the fall and I have been using them ever since. I think they were like maybe 50 cents a piece, uh, maybe a dollar, I can't remember, but any, either way, I'm loving them. And so I'm gonna put one of those on either side here just to kind of balance out. And I had used these little um, evergreen spears that have a little bit of frosting on them. So they're perfect for winter. We're gonna put those in each of the bowls. I also have a little, evergreen, um, this is either a wreath or a candle ring, You can, it could be either, but I'm gonna use it today as a base just to put it right here in the center of my um, cheese board. I have another thrifted piece of copper. I don't know what this was for, but I love the little shape of it. It's very heavy too, um, but uh, I know that this one was just a dollar, so uh, we're gonna place that right on top of the greenery and I have one of my Antique Candle Company candles here. This is actually Tree Farm. It's the holiday scent, but it still smells wonderful for the winter months. And so I'm gonna place that right here on this. And then I wanna add a couple more candles because I think candles really warm up your space if, during the winter months. And these are thrifted uh, candlesticks that I have painted black. And then I have, um, these are, the Everlasting Candles from Lucy Candle Company, uh, so they'll not burn down. And um, so they're gonna look just like this no matter how many times I burn them. And we're just gonna use those to kind of anchor the table. So this is my winter table for um, January, and we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, I also have my print here of uh, Grace Upon Grace. I brought out my, um, very first painting that I did. And those prints are available on my website if you like, um, if you like Grace. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial on setting a winter table.